Hi guys, uh, my name is Eric McNerney. Um, I, well, I work on music, I love music. Um, and today is my first time ever doing a video tutorial, so please bear with me as I stumble through it. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to reverse any VST instrument within uh, the Reaper DAW, in particular version 5.18 or earlier at least as far back as they included the reverse MIDI function. Um, the newer version, for some reason they took it out, or at least they moved it somewhere um, where I can't find it. Um, so I've reverted back to this version. Okay, um, I'm going to try to make this simple and brief, um, but I just wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison with uh, instrument rev by output. And It's a pretty cool instrument. There's a lot of features, um, but I think it's still, in a way, it's limited um, when compared to what I'm about to show you. Um, because you can do anything you want with this, um, this trick. So um, now let's hear the track with Rev, actually. Just part of it. So after recording the MIDI, the next step is to reverse the MIDI. So we want to go into the MIDI editor, go to edit, select all events, which they're already selected, because um, I already had them selected before I started the video. Um, reverse, in the same window, reverse. Okay, so you can see it's a mirror image compared to this one. Um, the next step is to render the track that you want to reverse. So you go to Render Freeze Tracks, and you go to Render Tracks to Stereo Stem Tracks, and Mute Originals. Then the final step is to reverse the audio. So you right click on the audio, or plus just press F2 because you want to go to Item Properties. And then you go to reverse on the bottom left and apply. Then it's been reversed. Um, and w the only drawback to this is that you will have a, a sudden stop at the end, um, depending on how the sound is. Um, if it has a slow attack, then of course it will have a slow decay at the end when it's reversed. But with the piano, uh, that's not the case. Um, so you might want to add like a really light reverb just to have a little bit of a tail there. But you don't want to add too much or else it will have a, more of a muddy sound, especially if you already had a reverb um, before you reversed it. So um, maybe a light reverb would be good, but we'll just listen to the way this sounds for now. effect than the actual rev instrument because the rev it's more like it turned the samples the reverse samples into an instrument itself so you have more attack um, at least in this particular preset um, but you can do anything you want with this so I can load you know, 20 different layers of instruments with this. You know, you wouldn't want to do that, it's too many. But for instance, I could add both saw
left a little bit. Add chime. Flip to the right. Let's see how that sounds. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not even gonna bother with the hearing out sounds beforehand because this is just for fun. And you'll learn along with me, I guess. Okay, so we've already mixed that down, so item properties, reverse, apply. Should be fixed now. Let's try that again. Let's remove that track. We'll remove this one as well. Render. Then reverse. said any instrument you want um, but I hope you liked the video or at least found it somewhat useful um, let me know of any other things that you'd like to see a video about or if you want to see me experiment more with this um, but I encourage you to experiment with it because um, you can do a lot of stuff with it you can you know it's it's pretty cool so